Greetings, fellow seekers of truth, wisdom, and light. This is Reverend Elliot coming to you live tonight from the city of New York, live for a change. We're in the middle of December here, and I'm making one of my rare live appearances because my nose is, uh, uh, has been crippling me for the last few months. I don't know what it was that I caught, but it's, uh, it, 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 and it hasn't been that I've been terribly sick. But half the time my voice was gone, and then the other half the time I couldn't sleep well, which is annoying because I'm one of these people who likes to sleep. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy sleeping. And uh, when I can only get about a couple hours sleep at a time because my nose kept clogging, it was just... Ugh. But that seems to be in the past, and uh, here we are, and we're going to do... An hour of readings, and looking through the tarot cards, looking through the magical window. So with uh, whatever you've uh, got on your mind that you want to look at, past, present, future, we'll be here to do it. Now, I ought to tell you, because I mentioned this the last time I was on, which was, I don't know, what was that, three weeks now? I, gosh, I don't know. Because I have, I have, I feel so guilty about this, but because I have missed probably half the shows this year because of whatever this illness was, I've decided to, and, and because of that, I haven't been able to do any private readings. I think I've only done one or two in the last few months. I've decided that since I missed half the show, in honor of missing half the shows, I'm cutting my prices in half from now till the end of the year, which is a couple of weeks from now and maybe a little after that. We'll see. But if you take a look at magic-works.com, You'll see the uh, prices uh, for a tarot reading, a private tarot reading with me. Just cut those in half. That's Seriously, just cut it in half. Now, that even includes the uh, my best bargain of all is a $10 email reading. You send me a question, I send you a uh, two-page report on that, and that's $10. So that means it's five dollars now. See, that's I am so glad I learned math. <laughs> that's that, that that's. Uh, but of course, calculus. Forget about it. I didn't. Uh, I contemplated dropping out of school rather than doing geometry and calculus. Nevertheless, I know how to divide by two. You just cut it in half, <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to cut this stuff in half. And whatever you see on my uh, uh, website as the cost of a reading, I'm shuffling up the cards here right now, you just chop that sucker in half and we'll do it. And I make the phone call so it doesn't cost you anything. We can either do it by phone or by Skype, whichever way is best for you. And uh, hey, you know, it's one of the things I like doing. And this is why I feel so bad about not being able to do these for like November and October and September, is that at the end of the year, People get readings to see what the next year is going to be like, to see what's coming up in 2024. Now, I know that 2023 has been, shall we say, uh, a rather a, a disappointment. <laughs> That's the kindest word that I can, I can use. And a lot of people are concerned that 2024 is going to be worse. Let me tell you something. We can look at that, but... Generally speaking, the cards that I've pulled have been all good for people. I mean, uh, I see I see bad periods of time for people coming to an end, and that's been consistent across the board. Now, the cards are really good at that. Not me. It's nothing to do with me. It's uh, I'm just telling you what I see in the cards. If uh, those of you who are regular uh, listeners will know that along about the uh, when I did this in 2019. And people wanted to know what 2020 was going to be like. I got a lot of aces for people, which meant new beginnings. And I had no idea what that was about. And we discussed that in some of the shows. You can go back. I got about 42,000 shows in the archive at askoneradio.com. And if you're a glutton for punishment, you can go there and you can listen to uh, about something like 330 or 40 shows of mine going back to when I started this. But 2019, I couldn't understand why I was getting so many aces for people. You know, new, you, hey, this, you're gonna, there's a new career coming your way, new money coming your way. Uh, there's new this, new that. It, it was just everywhere. And then, of course, by uh, March of 2020, we knew what that was all about. Because a lot of stuff was shut down. A lot of stuff was just shut down. 
and and we had to make new beginnings. Now, that's a personal thing. A lot of us had to make new beginnings. A lot of us had to figure out new ways to make a living. A lot of us uh, yeah, had to figure out new ways of doing everything. That's when they tried to throw something at us about changing all of society, which I don't think is necessary. I mean, more people died uh, the 1918 flu epidemic. Now that was because they didn't die. By the way, didn't uh, they didn't die from flu? The 1918 uh, Spanish flu epidemic. It, what killed people was with a secondary infection of pneumonia, and uh, that still goes here. The, the the secondary infection of pneumonia is pretty dangerous, but they didn't have antibiotics back then. In 1918, we got them now. I had pneumonia one time, and I don't ever want to get that again. Now I know that. Antibiotics don't really help when you have a, a virus like a cold or a flu. But I always check with my doctor about that because I would like the antibiotics to stop me from getting a secondary infection because I've had pneumonia. Now, that was also a wonderful thing, which was that I remember going to the doctor and he figured out it was pneumonia. And he said to my wife, who was standing there by my side, Everything's going to be okay. It's very likely that he'll pull through. <laughs> and I, I looked at him and I said, because <gasps> that's how I was breathing, you know, don't say that in front of me. Tell me I'm going to be fine. If I die, I will not hold it against you. I promise you. Don't say it's very likely that I'll pull through. I don't want to hear that. But, you know, they uh, they gave me the antibiotics. I've since had a few really nasty illnesses, but... If, if it can be helped, I don't want to get pneumonia again. Pneumonia is uh, not not your friend. And one of the things that leads to pneumonia is just lying down a lot. So I learned that when I get nailed with a flu or something, is just get up and walk. We have an old-fashioned railroad apartment here, so I can walk from one end to the other and keep it going. But I did something really remarkable this time that I was sick. Uh, I gained weight. <laughs> Usually when I get sick, you know, it's like, great, I'm going to, I'm going to come out of here really thin, but, and then, you know, I, I mean, that's a little secret. If you look at some of the pictures I use of me, that's from a few years back after I was really sick and I had lost an awful lot of weight, but I don't like doing that. So I made sure to eat this time as much as I could anyway. So yeah, I came out with a little bit of a punch that now I've got to get rid of, but it's cold outside. See, why can't these things happen in nicer weather? But, hey, that's neither here nor there. The main thing, see, I'm, I'm, I, this is cabin fever, by the way. This is me after several months of not being able to talk to anybody. So I just babble. But the, the whole point is, look, I'm back. I'm doing well. I'm hoping to be back every week, Wednesdays at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, and 8 Pacific. And uh, maybe, just maybe, we can get through 2024 without me missing any shows. But since I missed so many shows and didn't have an opportunity to read for you wonderful people free, the next best thing is to read for you at half price. And, cause, and money is tight. I mean, let's face it. Money, money is definitely tight. I mean, every... I mean, we're paying like 17% more, 18% more for everything that we were a couple of years ago. So cut those reading prices in half. Now, I do that because this is the time of year that a lot of people like to have readings. And I want to make it a little easier because it's not a necessary thing in life. It's kind of a luxury that we treat ourselves to. And I'm aware of that. And I don't think that it's the kind of thing that I, I would want to do strictly always to make a living out of, I, you know, I do do this professionally, but if it's not like I've ever counted on it for uh, paying the rent, you know, <laughs> because I don't want to charge that much. So my prices are pretty low anyway. And aside from that, I never let money get in the way. If somebody can't make the price, we'll, you know, we'll deal with that. You know, I, just, I don't believe in letting money get in the way. Uh, so just for the, for the, from now till the end of the year, especially if you want to take a look at what's coming next year, like our version of Time Tunnel, <laughs> do that. And, uh, and we, can, we can give you a good old-fashioned reading for half the price. 
And uh, I, that's my way of thanking you all for remembering me because I got so many wonderful messages from people while I was out flat on my back. And uh, hey, you know, just want to let you know it was it was kind of serious for a while, but mostly it was just about my voice being bad and lack of sleep. My voice is still a little scratchy, as you can probably hear. So we're all shuffled up now, that's for sure. That's what I've been doing here, shuffling and shuffling these cards. So why don't we get to the readings? And we do that by ringing a bell three times to declare a sacred space. And then we pull back the curtain on the magical window for Cassandra in Minnesota. Hi, Cassandra. You're on with Reverend Elliot. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Oh, good. Well, you doing? You keeping warm? It must be cold. Cold enough here in New York. It is. It's cold in Minnesota, right? It is right? cold. In, <laughs> yes, it is. Now, I don't like cold. I really have a serious cold problem. I, I hate the cold. <laughs> but hey, I gave up thinking that I'm going to leave. So what can I do? You know, I'm, I, if I really, really, really was that upset, I would have moved to Florida years ago, I suppose. But I don't like air conditioning either. <laughs> so what can I do? You know? <laughs> so look, it's not about me. It's about you. I got to remember that. So what can I look at for you tonight, Cassandra? So I would like to look at um, my, like, relationship status, like love life. Okay. I was going to ask if there's anything happening in terms of work, because I got a card here, the uh, Ace of Rods, which indicates new kind of work coming, new career. Is there anything oh, happening yep, there? Oh, yep, I just... Yep, I just, um, I've been opening up the last couple of months. I'm new into my Reiki business. Oh, swell. I love that. Reiki is one of my favorite things. Yeah. So that's what this card is. It's, uh, it, it, it's okay. a, uh, so, uh, but we'll look at, we we'll, can look at the relationship stuff. Is that what you were interested in, you said? Yes. Okay, let's do that. It's just that that card popped right up, and I wanted to see if there's a new business you're doing. For you know, people, I actually you, talked to you um, back in Ju no July, and you um, we talked about my Reiki business back then, and you um, reminded me to make sure that I had insurance before I started. So I made yes. sure before I started I purchased insurance. Great. And, you know, the other thing is, I don't know how it is in Minnesota, but I know in New York, uh, if you're going to do a thing like that, it will really help to get an ordination, like from the Universal Life Church. It's something like that. One of the organizations like that, the monastery or the, uh, the seminary, they have several offshoots of it uh, because that here, because of a wrinkle in, in New York, uh, that allows you to touch people you know, without. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I don't, so check that out in, in Minnesota also. It's worth doing. But uh, definitely, if you want to send me some information, email me some information about your uh, Reiki practice, I will be happy to put it up at my website. How's that? Okay. So let's, let's see what we got here. Now, see, I keep getting, I, I, when I shuffle, I see that one thing, the Ace of Rods about a new job. Here it is again. Good grief. I got the Ace of Rods again. So this is actually saying it's important. I also have the Two of Coins, which is about kind of juggling finances to get something going. But we know that because you said you're doing that. Um, which, do, is there any, are there any questions about work and that you want to look at? Because that's the second time this has come up. So I am going, I am going to have to take um, a couple of months off this spring. So I was just, I have been wondering um, how that would impact my business because I am going to be so new. Um, mm -hmm. I have to do it for health purposes. So I, there's, I have to do it, but. I have sure. been wondering different ways to ensure that I still have a practice coming back from. Well, of course, you from, can always. Um, you 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 can do in the meantime. You can make an offer for remote Reiki. You've done that, I'm sure, right? Yep. 
See, because that you could do from anywhere. That's uh, so that that's that's good. Uh, let's see. Well, well the, I, I have this card here, which is the chariot, which is about a person who is is, is controlling what's happening and make and not in a bad way. You know, I don't mean like a control freak, but that you're 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 holding on to the reins and uh, and and you're making things go the way you want them to. So you're detail oriented and you can get it done. The four of rods shows that there's happiness here in all of this. Um, there's a change headed your way. That's indicated by the Wheel of Fortune. The next card is the High Priestess, and that's really good because this that's what you're doing. You know, you're this is the this is a spiritual person who uh, is sees and works behind the veil. Uh, and the next card is the Death card, which is the card of rebirth. Oddly enough, I know it's it, because so many horror movies have spooked people with the death card that's not about dying in tarot that's about the end of one phase of your life and the beginning of another and the next card right after that is the ten of cups which is perfected happiness so it it seems to me i think you have one two three four major cards in here so this is a very important time in your life the question is how is it going to work when you take the time out it looks to me like it's going to be you're going to be very successful because you're okay. but you're growing you're changing you're you're evolving on a spiritual level which is the the high priestess and you are uh, going to come out of this almost a new person and happy that's the ten of cups so now this is the thing here here's another major card it's the hanged man i almost never get that card and that's telling me that you've sacrificed a lot to get to where you're going and that's going to pay off. Yes, okay. I have too. Yeah, well, see, but it's, it's, th these are really important cards here because they're the bulk of these cards are major. There's only 22 major cards in the deck, and you've got a bunch of them here. But the upshot okay. is, is happiness. And 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 oh, here's well the other this. Oh, the cards are always very practical too. This is the Ace of Coins. That means that's the a new income stream. So to, to answer your question, I think that you'll come you'll come back from this uh, retirement that you have to take uh, in the old sense of the word, like a magical retirement. That you'll come out of this fine. In fact, you could probably use the time to do remote Reiki for people. And as long as you let them know in advance that you do that, then you can do it from wherever you are. But also, I, I, I get the sense that you'll be using that time to study and grow. Rather than just, you know, like I would just lie around, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but now this is what's important. Because this is going to tie everything together is the page of cups and at that period the cups are about emotions and and the and romantic side of life and relationships and the page is the appearance of something new the pages are about uh the 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 actual appearance here on this plane of something as opposed to theoretical which would be the knight of cups for instance so yes there's going to be an emotional rebirth and very strong likelihood of a, uh, a romance for you in the Page of Cups here. Okay, that's all going to be triggered after you come back. How does that sound? Okay. Now, see, that's in keeping with the kind of stuff that I've been getting lately when I look at cards, which is that we're all, we've been going through some rough times, and there's more rough times coming, but we're going to come out of it okay. You're going to come out of this uh, with... Uh, a new relationship and new money. That's what I that see. That sounds awesome. <laughs> and one one last thing here, which is the sun. Now, because you, you didn't, I didn't ask you to, and I don't want you to, if you don't wish to, go into any details about why you have to take this time off. But the sun is a card about healing and health and growth. So there you go. And that confirms what I said, which is you're going to take that time to grow and to learn and do new things. So it, it you're you're going you're you're very well placed. I think you're going to do well. And here's the Ace of Cups, which you got the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. Now I I have no doubt that the period is going to be marked by a wonderful time emotionally for you and very rewarding. 
in terms of relationships and, and emotion. So you're headed down a really good path. Here's the world, assured success. These cards are getting boringly good. You know? so, <laughs> I think you're going to be fine. I think you'll be just fine. I like that sun card, wow. though, you know, that healing and health and growth, because that's what you want to do also for other people. And you're going to yeah. you're going to have you're going to have it for yourself and you're going to share it. And I, I think that's great. OK. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. OK. And remember, my email is ask tarot at earthlink dot net. This goes for anybody listening. That's my email. But uh, yeah. I would like you to uh, remember if you want to to uh, send me something in in my link page. I can list your Reiki services whenever you're ready. OK. And that was ask tarot at earthlink.net? Earthlink.net, yes. Or okay, you can perfect. find me through Ask One that. Radio. I'm, I'm very easy to find. Okay. Okay. Great talking to you. You too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Many blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye now. And let's shuffle them up again. You're listening to Reverend Elliot's Magical Window, the show that asked the question, can he be on the air more than once every six months? And the answer, it seems like yes. <laughs> this is the second time since November, I think. Sharon in Yorktown, New York is next. Hi, Sharon. You're on with Reverend Elliot. Hi, how are you? Good evening. I'm doing well. How are you tonight? I'm all right. I'm all right. Beautiful. What can I look at for you? Well, I have some past relationships that keeps on crawling up behind me. Can't seem to get rid of them. <laughs> Oh, man, that is and so the, interesting. Let me tell you, because the, there's a card I have right here at the top of the deck, which is the moon, which is a card about the unconscious, you know. But one of the things on that card is it shows a crawfish or a lobster crawling out of the water after a person. You know, <laughs> so, you, know you just pretty much described the card I was looking at, you know. so Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh. So what would you like to look at in terms of this? Well, it's is this ever going to resolve for this person? And Pam, I'm, I, he's a ghost to me, but apparently I'm quite apparent like it was yesterday. <laughs> uh, so you, well, let's you can't see. can't move on. It's, yeah. It, you want to move on? No, I have. I have. Okay. It's been quite some oh, time. He, he can't move on. He, no, no. It's been six years. <laughs> Okay. A little scary. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Well, I have the Four of Cups here, which is a card that of something that's happening that you don't see. Something. So there's more to this than you know. Uh, and here's the Five of Cups is here. Now that's a fascinating card because this is the, the cards like you. You know, they they they, they respond to you. Five of Cups is a person. Now we're looking at not you, but the other the situation. This is a person who, the, the, the card, you'll get why this relates to it. The symbolism on the card, it shows a person looking at three cups that are spilled. And the person is stuck looking at those three spilled cups and doesn't know that there are two other cups right behind them that are not spilled. So the person is not ready to move on. You know, the time will come when when that person should turn around and see that there's still a lot of stuff in life but right now the person is still fixated on this partial loss which is the relationship you you know you've written off the relationship correct oh gosh yes yeah okay well that's as yeah that's as written <laughs> off as it gets <laughs> but but this person doesn't see it really then doesn't get it now you know that so this is just the cards confirming it. This might take a little magical work, you know, um, to see if you can have somebody move on and move out of your life in a way. Uh, not because it's you doing it, but because that other person is doing it. Uh, let me just see if I can find something here. Uh, that's because that's a, that's a tough one. You just you 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 want to break from this person completely. 
uh, but the, you're not being allowed. I've tried meditation, visualizing, cutting it. I've done it all. <laughs> wow. It's strange. It's quite strange. You know, I'm going to... I, I this is gonna this is gonna take a while, and 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 it's not fair to you know just keep you sitting there while I look at things. So why why don't we do this? Get my email is asktaro at earthlink dot net. Send me an email, and by the time I get the email, I'll find something for you that you can do magically, you know, and I'll send it to you, no charge. It's just you know, I'll just I'll tell you what it is and how to do it. Okay. Okay. Because what you get to, is a clean break. Now, one of the things you might want to have you tried a reverse candle to send back any no. of the energy? Because oh, those I'll try are anything. Good. Well, give that a shot because those can be pretty powerful. Um, you need like a be gone kind of thing. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, there, there are things that you could go into. For instance, you, you. These are going to sound weird, but people have been using these things for years and years and years. You can get, uh, you know, like dollar stores, which I guess now are like two dollar stores, <laughs> used to sell mm -hmm. a compact that when you open it up, it had two mirrors in it. You know those? And I, I'm yeah, sure you could. I'm sure you could find one on eBay or something or Amazon, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can, if you have a picture of this person, you can put that in there and close it so that the person is now bound between the two mirrors and then stick that in the freezer. There's, that's one oh. traditional way of stopping somebody. You know, there, there, are other, there are other things you can do too, but that's, that's one you might want to give a try to. If you don't have a picture of the person, just write the person's name and visualize the person, put it in the compact, close it, and then you can even wrap it in a plastic bag to seal it, and then just put it in the freezer. Okay. And see how that goes. But if you send me an email, and we can we can look at other things, okay? Because there's a, there are a lot of things you can do, because let's face it, this has happened to people for centuries that, uh, that, that people don't let go. And there are ways of making it so that they're going to want to let go. Uh, it's yeah. not black magic, but it's uh, it's protection. So let's go into that, okay? But try that too. See if you can find a compact like that. Oh, I will. Okay. So, but get in touch with me, and we'll we'll take a look. Um, let me just see if there's one thing else here, because there may be something I can find for you to do while you do that. Um, Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this, this might be good too. And remember, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other person. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking, we all have, there's, almost all of us have a magical book at home, but we don't know that that's what that is. And it's the, it's the book of Psalms in the Bible. Okay. That this is a little bit long. This is 45 verses, which is the 105th Psalm. But it's traditionally, this will help a person get rid of the past. And if you can recite this at the end of each line, each of the 45 lines in this Psalm, just say, so be it. Uh, that And, and that you. will help while you're doing that with the with the little uh, compact and the pictures, aim it towards that person to see if that'll help get rid of that person, have the past let go. My yeah. my my syntax is garbled right now, but uh, that 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 might be something to do because it's helping for getting the, the guy. This person just needs to let the past go, and that may help. Yeah. Okay. He's toxic. He's toxic and does toxic things. Yeah. Trying to get reactions out of me, and some are extreme. And it's been many, many years. It's and we live in the same town. That's the problem. I, so, I think a, lo a lot of us, a lot of us, have had people like that in our lives, and it's it can be really creepy and annoying. 
the other thing is, of course, to do legal work, to you know, get a lawyer and see about a restraining order and all of that stuff. But I've if you want, if, yeah, I figure, yeah, that's why I was kind of hesitant. I mean, I, I mean, you, you don't, you don't sound like you're helpless, you know, but you, you sound like you're at, at the end of your rope there. Try the thing yeah. with the 105th Psalm, say so be it at the end of each of the 45 verses as you seal up this mirror with the person inside and throw that sucker in the freezer and see if that'll cool the guy down. How's that? Okay. But be sure what's to contact What's your email again? My name's Elliot. Okay, so what's the um, the email? Ask so it's Elliot. A-S-K-T-A-R-O-T, ask Darrow, one word, at earthlink.net. That's how long I've been doing this. I've got an Earthlink email. Earthlink. And you can find me through Ask One Radio also. My site is magic-works.com. There's a contact form there. I'm the easiest guy to get hold of. Okay. You can you can always just do a, a, an internet search for uh, Reverend Elliot's Magical Window, and that'll turn me up. And then, you know, you you get in touch with me and we'll see what we can do to kind of ease this up and uh, maybe uh, spiritually show this person that is that, that 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 tormenting you is not the best thing in the world to do. Oh, how's that? Mm-hmm. OK. OK. Thank you. I hope to hear from you and we'll see what Thank we can you do. Thank you so much. Have, have a great night. Have a great holiday. Awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. And we're all shuffled up again. Uh, look at that. We've come halfway through the show here. I made it. I'm still alive. My throat's a little raw. I'm a little. Uh... Well, I tell you something. That's the other thing about being ill. I have a tendency to dehydrate. It happens a lot with me. And I take care of that with hydration fluids and uh, all that stuff. But. Uh... Man, you know, when especially if there were periods while I was out sick that I would finally get to sleep and maybe sleep for 12, 15 hours, which is a good thing to do if you're sleep deprived, but you, you dehydrate. <laughs> you know, there's, there's always a catch. Right? It's always an angle. So uh, I that that really blew my throat for a while. So you wouldn't have wanted to hear me. You, you you would you would, the whole show would have been me shuffling cards and and you calling in saying what huh what what but here we are and we're back and uh, and then we're sliding in towards 2024 and if you want a reading a personal reading from me to find out what 2024 is going to be like remember go to magic-works.com take a look at the prices there at the, there's a there's a price sheet on the uh, home page and then there's also a page just for tarot reading and then cut that in half because I've been very bad I've been very negligent and I haven't been able to read for people so let's make it as easy as possible and we'll do that by running a half price sale because what you know it's not like I have an inventory it's not like I've got readings stacked up in the warehouse <laughs> just as many as I can do I'll be more than happy to do and uh, don't forget the best bargain of all would be that five dollar email reading that's that's you know come on. you can barely do but the only way you can do better than that is i do offer a free mini reading to listeners see i haven't mentioned that in a while because i haven't done anything in a while <laughs> I've, oh i was so bored to tears you know uh gosh it's i missed you i miss you all so much and and remember if you if you if you want me to pull a few cards for you no charge, just a free mini reading, something I offer to the listeners. Just drop me a line and ask tarot at earthlink.net or fill out the contact form at magic-works.com. And uh, there's a contact form at mojoacademy.org, which is the books and videos and audios, uh, mostly books, though. Uh, check that out because there's a lot of good stuff there. And uh, even there, check out the shaving soap page because that's a good stocking stuffer and we're coming around to stocking season. We're, we're, we're in the home stretch, right? It's almost that time of year to put stuff in the stocking. And since I don't sell coal and everybody's been nice, so Mojo Brothers shaving soap might be a good idea. And there's a free shaving brush offer too. Check that out too. So look for the shaving soap at mojoacademy.org. Michelle in Robbinsville, New Jersey is next. Hi, Michelle, you're on with Reverend Elliot. Hi, Reverend Elliot. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you tonight? 
Uh, I'm a little concerned. Uh oh. <clears throat> let's see if we let's see what we can do to make that better. How's that? What are you concerned about? Okay. What can we do about it? Okay, it's a little personal, but um, I have been bleeding, like period bleeding, but it's been like 14, 15 days. So something's wrong, definitely. Oh, and yeah. And I have some pain, and I have an appointment on Monday. Um, I had um, some issues about 10 years ago, and last October I had a you know a regular checkup, and they said, uh, you know, your cells are irregular again. So I'm just wondering, is this the potential of cervical cancer or? Well, first of all, you're doing the right thing by um, seeing a doctor, obviously. Uh, yeah. There's no way you can turn off worries, you know, like that, because that's that's the way we are. And uh, when something out of the ordinary happens, it's scary. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and I feel for you because I, I had my own uh, emergency a couple of years ago, and it's left me mostly blind, which is something I don't talk about often, but it's annoying. Mm. Uh, but it, uh, hey, you know, uh, at least we, we uh, there's a lot of stuff that doctors can do. I'm not a big fan of Western medicine in terms of maintaining health, but I look upon them as really good if you need like a good biological plumber. You know, they know, they know what to do. They can set bones. They can, they can deal with things that are out of the ordinary and they can help out a lot. And uh, Hey, you know, they're, they've, they've kept my eyes from deteriorating. So that's, that's, that's good. But I, but you know, you can't help but worry about things. So don't apologize for letting you thinking that, you know, your imagination is, is running away with you there because you have every reason to be concerned. But I'm glad mm -hmm. that you're doing something about it, and and that's that's important. I will, of course, after the show, I'll, I'm gonna I'll light a candle to send positive energy your way. Now let's mm -hmm. just see what the cards are showing for you. Okay, good cards. The first card is the star, which is a card of optimism. That's good. That's a very good thing. There's there, there's reason to be optimistic here. Uh, the Ten of Cups is there. That's I had that earlier for somebody. That's a card of happiness, and, uh, a good happiness. Mm -hmm. Now, the the next is the is the Ten of Rods, which is about bearing a heavy burden, mm -hmm. which is telling me that there, there's a there's this is a very difficult time for you. The next card is, and I'm so happy that this is there, is the Sun, which is the card of healing and health and growth. So it looks to me like the positive cards are in, in, in preponderance here. And the Ten of Rods is, is more about feeling overwhelmed than actually being overwhelmed. But there's really no difference between the two, is there? I mean, if you feel overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you're overwhelmed, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So th th it's, it's a matter of being able to try to relax and, and, and control the fears and allow the people who know what they're doing to do it. Of course, you can't be passive. You, I, 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 I'm, I don't. I'm just saying this because I really need to. When somebody talks about a medical thing, that uh, you, a, you've got to get competent medical care, which you're doing, so that's great. And uh, you don't mm -hmm. seem like the person who's reluctant to discuss it because you're talking to me, a complete stranger, about it. So I have. Yeah, no well, I'm doubt. a therapist, so I talk all day yeah. to people. Yes, I, and I have, I have no doubt that you, you, you'll be able to speak to the doctors too, and not mm -hmm. just be yeah. a, a passive, a passive patient. I think you're going to come out of this. Not way. at all. Um, Okay. The, the eight, the last cup I have here, the card is the ace, the last cup, the card is the ace of cups, which is the beginning of all things good emotionally and feeling, uh, it's like the air will be cleared. So I'm seeing this, the, the card of optimism, the card of happiness, the card of feeling overburdened, the card of healing and health and growth, and the uh, a card of uh, of good things emotionally happening. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I'm I'm seeing nothing but good stuff here. So... Let's just mm -hmm. keep that positive energy going, okay? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. 
So I will, I'm going to light a white candle afterwards to send uh, positive energy your way. And uh, you can always contact me off the air if you need anything else as this progresses. Yeah, I would like if a reading. Want to yeah, if you want to do like that, a... fine. You know, I mean, aside yeah. from this, which is fat, if you want a private reading, let me know, okay? Yeah, I would. Okay, and, it, and it's easy to get in touch with me through Ask One Radio or through magic or I do everything but skywrite my email out there. You know, I, I, hear, I hear from people I haven't heard from in 40 years sometimes. So, you know, I say, are you still that guy? Are you that guy who was so peculiar in school? I said, yeah, I guess that was me, you know. So, now, let me just tell you one last card here because this is important. This is really good. Uh, this is the Six of Swords. In some decks, that's called science because it's about getting from where you are to where you want to be using the power of your own mind. Mm. So you can do that. You said you're a therapist, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you know. You know how that works. So, but I, oh, yeah. I, and, and here again, I, after all that shuffling, here I have the star, which is optimism and hope. And then I have the Ten of Swords, which is a card that means the, the worst has happened and the best, you know, it, it, whatever was bad is over. So the good, the good, yeah. the bad stuff is fading and the good stuff is coming. Okay, these Thank are good. Thank God, cards. because it's been a hell of a year, Reverend. Hasn't it? Hell of oh, a year. yeah. Horrible. It's, Horrible. Yeah, I know the feeling, but you know something? It's going to be better. Uh, the, 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 here, like, here's the judgment card. That's a great card. That's a person getting what they've earned and what they deserve. And, you know, it's almost a rebirth. Mm. So there's good That's stuff coming I mean. your way. Yeah, it's coming. Mm. So hang in there and, and don't be shy about contacting me anytime you need to, okay? I won't be. Perfect. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank, Thank you for all the work you do to heal others. Appreciate it. Well, you know, we, we, we heal ourselves too when we do that. So it, it's, you know, you know that too from the, yeah. you know, cause, cause yeah, the I know. Work. I'm also a medium. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Wow. <laughs> that, uh, that, that, that can be, that can be scary, you know? You know? Mm, it's, I've helped lots of people. It's been a blessing. Yeah, but, uh, I, you know, when it comes it, to me, you can't always see your own stuff all the time. I get a lot through dreams and stuff, but Oh when yeah, I pay, just came I, up tonight. I pay great attention to dreams. I mean, dreams are oh, very yeah, important. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, let me tell you, I, this is. I'm just going to mention this, not by way of like a, a cheap plug, but you reminded me of a book that I have uh, for sale at MojoAcademy.org, and other people might be interested because since you mentioned mediumship, and this is this occurred to me. I have a couple of books out about not. I do. I mean, these are books from many, many, many years ago that I've republished uh, and, and about mediumship. And one of the more interesting of all of them is by a woman named Mrs. Cook, who was one of the more famous mediums in America in the early 20th century. And it's called How I Discovered My Mediumship. And that has been such a great help to so many people that I just wanted to mention that book. Because if anybody's struggling, see, the thing is, and you'll know, is being able to control it and turn it on and off because you can't have it keep popping up all the time. Oh, no. And I did a and lot she, of work with that because that, that was really a yeah. struggle like 20 years ago. <laughs> and, and that's what she details in the book because as a young girl, she thought she was crazy. Me you too. Know, she, yeah, you see, but you, you're hearing mm -hmm. certain things. You see, this is... Yeah. You're, you're picking up vibrations. You're, you, mm -hmm. We don't know if it's the literal spirit or if it's the revenant, or if it's, you know, the echoes of something, but, you know, it's there. And some people hear it and some don't. And, uh, you know, I can tell you, let me tell you, this is really creepy. You got a moment? This is, Yeah, let's go. Bring it on. There's a, there's a great dive bar here in New York called Rudy's Bar and Grill in Hell's Kitchen. It's been, it's been active since uh, Prohibition was repealed, and it was around as a speakeasy. And it's one of the uh, preeminent cheap dive bars in, in, the, in the country. And they get people from all over the world there. And there was an old guy who used to sit at the bar and get drunk all the time. Uh, he was a janitor, custodian in uh, one of the local buildings here in Hell's Kitchen. And he would just sit there and get drunk. And... Uh, he turned to me one day. Now, those days, this was up until the lockdowns. My wife and I owned a newspaper. 
we published a newspaper and we covered the Midtown West area in New York City. And that was, we had the newspaper. And I was in there having a couple of drinks, talking to people. And this guy, Joe was his name. He comes up to me and he says, your grandfather is very proud of what you're doing. And I said, mm. oh, really? I said, which grandfather? And he said, the German grandfather who used to be a publisher. And I, I could feel the blood draining from my face because mm. not even my wife knew about that. And mm. the, the bartender saw me and he came over and said, did Joe just tell you something about your family? <laughs> I said, yes. How did you know? What is, what is everybody a mind reader here? He said, no, you just have that look because sometimes Joe just tells people things about that. You know, my, uh, my grandfather who died in 1918, uh, sorry, 1925, not 1918. My grandfather died in 1925. So obviously I never knew him. I'm not that old, but um, I'm old <laughs> enough. But he was, he was the European publisher of uh, Vogue magazine. Oh, and wow. No, and I don't even think my sister knew that. You know, the, the, because my family was very secretive about certain things. And there were certain things about the family that they entrusted to me. And that Joe knew that blew my mind. You know, now mm -hmm. there's no doubt that he didn't do it. No, this is a guy who never used the Internet in his life. And even if he had, he wouldn't have known what to look up. Uh, it's just it's astonishing that uh, that he said that. So there are people and now i think i know years later i believe he passed on a few years ago but now i understand why he drank a lot because he couldn't turn it off and he couldn't turn it you know he couldn't control it so he just chose a simple life and uh and drank to quiet the voices now let's face it you know hearing voices is not something people want to brag about because you can you no. can end up in you can end up in Harry. a straitjacket yeah, but right. But he, That's what I he, have happened to me at 19, and I thought I would go to the doctor. I, I said, I think I'm schizophrenic. I was hearing like six different voices, yeah, and they're like, then, "Oh, okay." But but and, but I was I was an addict, and I was and then, using substances then. And once I got clean and sober, when I turned 20, the voices came with vengeance, and that's when the mediumship really took out. Like I would just be seeing everybody's dead people and they were just come like the mm -hmm. channel opened when I got sober 24 years ago. And, uh, and it has been like, I've helped hundreds of people because of it. It's been a miracle. It's it's because of that experience I had with Joe, mm -hmm. there's just no way that I can explain that one away. You know what I mean? I mean, even if he was a mind reader and he picked it up from my brain, it's not something that I had consciously remembered. Uh, until, right. but he was very, he was very, very simple about, you know, he said, because we had just done a lot of work with the newspaper exposing corruption in the political circles in this area. Mm -hmm. And that's, and he said, your grandfather's very proud of the work you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then he hit me with that. You know, I, in fact, the first time I told this story on this show in a little more detail, I record, I kept a recording of that and I stuck it at my website because, uh, that's, that's, that's that's a mind blower and the, and the people like you who have these abilities to to tap into that uh it can be very challenging because the first thing you start thinking is that you're crazy you know and like you said it, after a while it it comes to you it's well i'm going to yeah. try to get one more i'm going to try to get one more call in because i just have a, a few minutes left but um you know Keep me posted on what's going on, okay? I will. Thank you so much. And I'm going to come at you with a, for a reading. And maybe I'll read for you, too. Yeah, that would mm -hmm. be great. Thanks that a lot for cool. calling. All right. Have a blessed night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Uh, let's just jump right over to uh, Maureen in Burlington, Ontario. So uh, we'll see if we can get you in there at the last minute here. Hi, Maureen. You're on with Reverend Elliot. Hi, Reverend Elliot. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm just glad to be back. So, uh, I'm not back. You know, everything okay with you? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted some clarity uh, for my um, uh, current situation right now. 
Okay. Uh, let's, well, I've first listened of, to you before on the radio, and, and, and I think you're really wonderful. I just wanted to say oh, that, too. Thank you. Let me tell you, the first card I have here is um, the, the magician. So this is a person who can take, utilize spiritual energy and use it here on Earth. So you're, you're a very spiritual person, okay. and, and you know how to do that. Uh, the, the next couple of cards are almost related. It's the Two of Swords, which is a situation that is kind of like not moving. It's stuck. It's like a stalemate. Uh, and then there's the, temper, uh, the Temperance card. These both cards represent a balance of some sort, that stasis, that things are, right now, things are at a balance, but things have been unbalanced for you for a while? Yes. Okay, well, that's coming back into focus. Very much so. It's going to be balanced. And there's a card here, which I like a lot, which is a card about a person who is at peace with herself and can be alone without being lonely. You know, it's not a matter of being a hermit, but you don't, you, about not needing people that you, you're becoming very self-sufficient and you're at peace is what I see. So what I'm seeing in these cards is yeah. there's something there's something that's kind of a stuck something situation that isn't working. You don't have to discuss yeah. it if you don't want to. Uh, but the magician card shows me that you have great power, spiritual power, and you can deal with it. And the temperance card says that you're going to have your life come back into balance. And the nine of coins is uh, about the uh, solitary enjoyment in life. It's uh, about being free with yourself. And 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 okay. Uh, again, it's you see that kind of sometimes that freaks people out because it doesn't mean you're going to be alone. It means that you're okay if you're alone. That's you know you you're not going to be rushing around trying to please everybody. You're going to be very calm and 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 and, and at, at ease and content with yourself. So and it, and here's the emperor, which means you'll be in control. Things will be working out very well for you. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Now, well, thank me, you very much. I really yeah, appreciate me, your time. Glad. Let me let me just tell you one last thing. There's one last card here. I've had this three times tonight. Now, the Four of Swords that indicates happiness at home, and uh, and and tranquility and peace. So I think what's happening is that whatever was out of whack in your life is falling into place. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, thank you so much, Reverend Elliot. Thank you. Bye-bye now. And folks, that's it. We've come to the end of another edition of Reverend Elliot Shoots His Mouth Off for an Hour. But, uh, boy, I tell you, I, uh, I, it, 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 it really just it broke my heart every time I had to uh, send a message saying I can't do it tonight. Uh, I can't do it tonight because, uh, well, if I didn't have a voice, that would be, you know, I'd... I can't do it in sign language until, of course, the day comes when I, I keep threatening to do this, and I will do this, do the video stuff, but uh, I, I still get nicely uh, shaved and cleaned up for radio, so I have a feeling that that helps, you know. I like to sound ready, but uh, yeah, we're going to be experimenting with video work come the new year. Oh boy, I'm just a radio guy at heart, you know. I'm like I'm like Lamont Cranston. I'm uh, who is actually Kent Allard for those of you in the know, uh, but the shadow knows. So until we get together next week at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, and 8 Pacific, I just want to tell you thanks for listening in. Uh, thanks for calling. I had a great time, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.